Butterflies, it's Betsy here with Essential Oils with Betsy. Today we're going to be over here on Pinterest and I want to show you something neat. And that is how to make an idea pin on Pinterest on your desktop, on your computer. So idea pins, let me just show you what they are. I'm over here on my profile, Essential Oils with Betsy. If you haven't followed me yet, come on over and give me a follow. I'm E Oils with Betsy. And um, here are my idea pins that I've done recently. So you can see they're, they're kind of like, if you're familiar with other platforms with the stories, they're kind of like that, but they stay on your profile. They don't disappear after 24 hours. And the idea of idea pins is to create something that's short, that's bite-sized, that's gonna go give someone a quick win, give them a quick tip, show them how to do something quickly, and really inspire them. So you can see here that they can be as simple as, like this one is just a graphic gentle reminder. Today I will not stress over things I cannot control. And then what is cool about these is you can use them to help build your following because the, every idea pin ends with this little page that shows your profile. So if someone's curious, they can click on it and look, they'll land right over here on your profile and they can check out your idea pins and then below your idea pins, they can start to see your regular pins, okay? So this is a great way to help build up your audience, build up your following. Idea pins are something that Pinterest is going to be using more and more, so you really wanna get on the bandwagon now and not be waiting on creating idea pins. You wanna shoot for at least one new idea pin a month, even better if you can do it once a week. That's gonna help build visibility on your account and it's gonna help build your Pinterest account following as those idea pins take off. So I'm gonna show you also, so they can be, like I showed you, just a graphic or they can be like a slide, so this one. We just kind of slide through. You can see the dots that it has multiple pages to it. So this is a very simple way. You can take, kind of create a little story with the pins and create them into a slide. So that's another idea on how to use the idea pins. And then I'm gonna show you one last idea here. I click back over to my profile. And I wanna show you that you can also do video with these. So here's my little daughter, Abby, and she is gonna show us how to use her oils. Kind of loud there. <laughs> so you can see here, the idea here is to be inspirational. I'm showcasing that, um, you know, we're empowering our kids with oils. They can do this by themselves and really take control of their health. So that's the inspiration behind the idea pin. And that kind of gives you an idea pin, an idea of what idea pins are. And so when you are on the desktop feed, they're not quite as obvious. So if you go over here to the home feed, it's not quite as obvious, but if you see right here on the front, it has these reaction icons on it. You can see that's an idea pin. Okay, and if you scroll down, there's another idea pin. Okay, so you start to get the idea that you can spot them when they have the emojis in there. And on mobile, it's very obvious because they are right up at the top. And I saw Pinterest recently did an update where they've moved from circles to their big squares at the top. So again, idea pins is something that it's a direction Pinterest is going in and you definitely want to hop on that trend. All right, so let's get you going and help you upload your first idea pin. So you're gonna come back over to your own profile and you're gonna go up here to create and you're gonna click create idea pin, okay? and then it's just going to bring you to this page. And the nice thing about idea pins is you can save your drafts. So if you're working on one, you're not quite ready, you can save that draft, okay? So I do have one that's already made. And so I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. You can either make the idea pin kind of within Pinterest. And if you're using mobile, then there are extra features there. But 
since I prefer to do my work on desktop, I like to go into a program like Canva, create my idea pin and upload it from there already designed. So it's totally up to you how do you do that. So then this is just my computer files. I'm just going to bring this up, inspiring quotes about life. So you'll see here in the middle where it says add a title. So if you were creating your own idea pin, this is where you would add a title here. But since I've already done that, I'm just going to hit, I'm just going to click to select it. And then I'm just going to hit this trash can icon right here. And then I'm just going to delete that text block. I don't need it. Okay. And then I can, um, I can play my idea plan to make sure it's, you know, I can see that it uploaded correctly. And then if I wanted to add some text, I could add some text. Or if I wanted to add a background, I could add a background. But again, I've already done that work outside of Pinterest in Canva. If I wanted to add more pages, I could, I could either duplicate this page or I can click here to add a page. Again, this is all completed. You'll get to see the complete idea pin at the end. So I'm just going to select next. And then here it says add the basics. So we're going to need a title. I'm going to use my title right here, inspiring quotes about life. And then I'm just going to have video so people can tell that it's a video. And then this is very important with idea pins is this tagging feature down here. So first of all, you're going to select which board you want it to go to. I forgot to mention that. So I want this to go to my butterfly thoughts board. And let's see, inspiring quotes about life. I've got some quotes under here. So that's where that's going. It's very important to tag your pins. So I like to just kind of see what it suggests. Let's see. Sometimes it can be a little clunky, but I, as you start to write, type in the right terms, it gives you suggestions. So you can't create your own tags within Pinterest. You need to use the tags that they have. Um, if there was life quotes. So you'll see I'm going after everything that's like quotes. Okay. Let's see. We got inspirational. We got life. How about oh, motivation? Motivational quotes. Um, let's see. My mind's going kind of blank here. We got inspiring. Let's see if we have any other suggestions down here. Let's see. Thoughts. And this is just kind of something you gotta play around with. Um, so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and just use these because I don't want to take forever. But, you know, you do want to use as many tags as you can make sense, but you don't want to use something that doesn't make sense. Okay, so um, maybe we could do self, let's see if self-care is under here. Self-esteem quotes. Okay, so then you kind of start to see how you do this. You just kind of got a kind of um, empowering quotes. Okay, so now it's starting to give me some better um, descriptions. I wonder if there's any business quotes or something along that line. Business quotes and business motivation I saw. Okay, so now I feel like I have more of descriptive tags. So these tags are important because this is how Pinterest is going to find your idea pins. It's how it categorizes them and then how it um, sends them out to people. So this is very important that you do tag them and um, use as many tags as is appropriate. You can use up to 10. Okay, then you can choose whether you allow people to comment or not. I like to leave it on because Pinterest is um, a search engine, but it does have that social media aspect. And that way, if someone wants to ask me about anything, they still have that option. And then you're just going to go ahead and hit publish. Now, this process can take a little bit. So you don't want to close out of the page. You don't want to leave. It's just because this is a video, it's going to take a minute to come up. And then here's my idea pin. already done the video so it just plays the video and the idea with these is you want to keep it short you want to keep it bite-sized um, keep 
it exciting. here and then again at the end they can choose whether to watch again and it'll just loop back through or they can come over to my profile and now on my profile it doesn't always load right away but sometimes you can see it and then sometimes it takes a minute let's see if it's there and there we go so it's got one view that was me but now this is out in the feed, Inspiring Quites About Life. People can watch that, come over and follow me. And um, that's how it all works. So I hope this was useful for you. Again, if you want to get inspired with quotes and essential oil tips and direct sales business tips, come follow me on Pinterest. I'm pinning things all the time. Essential Oils with Betsy. And make sure you follow my YouTube channel. Again, that's um, Essential Oils with Betsy. You'll find me everywhere as Essential Oils with Betsy. So thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you. Bye-bye.